A beloved celebrity royal, miserable in her gilded cage, meets her tragic end while fleeing fame. Empress Elizabeth of Austria was ahead of her time. Empress Elizabeth of Austria ruled from 1854 to 1898 as the wife of Austro-Hungarian Emperor Franz Joseph I. Sissy, the childhood nickname that Elizabeth commonly went by, married into the royal family at the age of only 16, as history tells us. Sissy's parents, who'd raised her in a wealthy family of seven brothers and sisters in the Bavarian mountains, had intended for Sissy's older sister to marry the emperor. Franz Joseph I, however, was smitten by Sissy's beauty and mannerisms, and that was that. On the day of her wedding, Sissy sat in a glass coach rolling through the streets of Vienna. A crowd of leering thousands pressed together outside the coach, hoping for a glimpse. Sissy, inside, wept. Thus commenced a tragic reign, downfall, and ultimate assassination of a publicly adored but privately tormented figure. Her assassination happened on September 10, 1898, as Sissy was visiting Geneva, Switzerland under a fake name. However, word of her arrival leaked, and Italian anarchist Luigi Luceni took his chance. He went right up to her as she was walking toward the dock to board her ship and, as Sissy thought, punched her in the chest. She boarded the ship, collapsed, and bled to death. She'd been stabbed right in the heart. Until her assassination, Sissy not only hated life in a gilded cage, but also experienced what we would now clearly define as mental health issues. She compared herself to a, quote, monkey dancing at the hurdy-gurdy for a public who zealously idolized her. She was isolated and friendless within the confines of court propriety and plagued by her husband's mother, Archduchess Sophie, who once wrote, You cannot imagine how charming Sissy is when she cries. In reaction to such misery, and perhaps to exert some control over her life, Sissy worked out fanatically, fencing, hiking, horseback riding, and more. She always took great care of her appearance and her health, apparently. According to history, she subsisted on raw milk from her own personal cow, as well as oranges, eggs, and thin broth. She spent an hour a day cinching a belt around her 19 and a half inch waist, and spent three hours a day caring for her renowned ankle-length chestnut hair, which itself had the unwanted effect of garnering more public attention. Many now believe that she exhibited symptoms of anorexia nervosa, a highly self-destructive disorder characterized by a distorted body perception, abnormally low weight, and an overly restrictive diet. In 1867, Emperor Franz Joseph I brokered a deal to incorporate the Kingdom of Hungary into his and Sissy's empire. At this time in history, Sissy and Franz Joseph's empire was composed of a wide array of ethnic groups. There were Ukrainians and Poles in the Northeast, Germans and Czechs in the West, Romanians, Slovaks, Slovenes, Croats, Serbs, and even Italians in the far, far Southwest in the regions of Trentino and Trieste. During World War I, from 1914 to 1918, these areas became the battleground of Italian versus Austro-Hungarian forces but the seeds of discontent were present decades earlier. After her only surviving son, Crown Prince Rudolf, died in 1889, she became a walking ghost. Her weight plummeted even more. She wandered through countries alone, got a tattoo of an anchor on her arm at age 51, and even wrote, I will travel the whole world over until I drown and am forgotten. But as the Queen of Hungary, Sissy gained a newfound purpose. According to history, she became greatly interested in medicine and took to visiting the sick and dying in person, going from bed to bed like an angel of mercy, as detailed in her biography, The Reluctant Empress. Ironically, it was Sissy's charitable work combined with lax personal security that led to her assassination by Luigi Luceni. When she visited hospitals, she traveled with no one but a lady-in-waiting, as history notes. Empress Elizabeth of Austria was 60 at the time of her assassination. Her early life was recounted in the Netflix series The Empress, which premiered to widespread popularity in 2022.